My name is Chris Kelly, and first allow me to thank you so much uh, for signing up for our program. The first step with all of our clients is figuring out exactly what you want, you know, and what you're going to tell yourself when you lose motivation because motivation is a fleeting thing. So we want to get this stuff down on paper and then make it a part of our program, meaning I want you to have your mind on this stuff all the time and review this form frequently because we will do so every week. And so first and foremost, with our goal setting form, what we want to figure out, step one, is just figuring out a basic goal. Okay, and so I'm, I've used an example here of things that I hear a lot. Okay, and a long-term goal doesn't have to be something like I want to lose 35 pounds or I want to run a marathon. I mean, I hear that a lot, and certainly you could say those things. But for a mom that I worked with recently, she simply said, my long-term goal is to be healthy for my eight-year-old. You know, and he's a he plays baseball. You know, he's a pretty active kid, and she wants to be able to keep up with him. And I think that that's a wonderful goal, and it's something that you know you can wrap your head around. And regardless of what you choose, I want you to think of something that even stirs emotion, because the more powerful your goal, the more likely you are to stick to that goal. And for her, that's a very um, very powerful and uh, meaningful thing. Uh, you know, to help her son grow older, get stronger, you know, that kind of thing. And so really just give that a lot of thought. You know, what is something that long term you're not only doing to, you know, get a physical result, but you're doing to feel better about yourself, you know, and you're doing for those around you as well. Put that down and look at that frequently. And then we break that down a little bit. We say, okay, so this month, then what is my goal? And for most of you that are signing up for our program, we say, all right, my goal is then to work out three days a week this month in boot camp. All right, no more, no less. That is that is um, what we're trying to do. You know, and we set a we actually have a participation point system that you know we we ask you to meet in our program. So you know we'll we'll accommodate that goal. But just what is your minimum thing that you're willing to do um, to get this long-term goal to be successful? And again, it doesn't have to be I'm changing my diet this month. You know, I'm I'm following everything about this program to the letter. That's not what I want. I want you to figure out what you can actually stick to and do. Okay, And that is the mantra throughout our entire program. So then from there, step two is to choose a mantra and to choose a workout buddy. And so really a mantra is just something that you can say to yourself when you lose motivation. Because the reality is that motivation is a fleeting thing. You might be extremely motivated on the day you sign up and the day you talk to me. And I hope you always remain that way. But by the same token, there will be times where this is not going to be fun. And in some cases, it will suck. And so on those lo at, those lo at those low moments, I want you to have something that you can say to yourself that starts to sort of give you hope, you know, and helps you to understand that, you know, we need to stay the course. And so for me, one of my challenges is that I always feel that I don't have the time necessary to get what done what I need to get done. And so I always say to myself, I have all the time and the resources to be successful when I have a plan, okay? And that really is true. For me, I know that when I plan ahead, you know, I can always make time for things. And an example of that would be, you know, if I don't feel that I have time to work out, you know, if I'm checking my phone, uh, you know, if I'm checking Facebook on my phone for 20 minutes a day, you know, why can't I set a clock and I do a short workout instead? So really the, the mantra is kind of looking at the reasons why you haven't been successful in the past, you know, the things that you dis that disconnect you, and then saying the opposite, okay, because the reality is you signed up for this program, you do have all the strength necessary to get to where you want to be, but really have something that you can say to yourself frequently, almost on a daily basis, that helps you to remember that, okay, and remind you. You know, the last thing is a workout buddy, somebody that you can say these things to, and somebody that can hold you accountable, you know, in addition to your coach, okay, and so that workout buddy can certainly be me, but again, what I would advise is somebody that you might have signed up for the program with, you know, somebody that you work with, and that kind of thing. So, you know, write their name down because you are going to be held accountable to some degree with your workout buddy, okay? And so I want that person to be your go-to, somebody that you can talk to about your workout, somebody that you can complain to about me. All of that is fair game. But again, I want to know somebody that you can um, talk to about what you're doing because it's extremely important. And our final step, our step three, is to choose one habit, okay? And the difference between a habit and a goal is a goal is what we're trying to do overall, whereas a habit is kind of looking at the reasons why you haven't been successful in the past and just doing one little thing um, to try to eliminate those disconnects, okay? And so for a lot of people, for example, um, 
you know, time is a problem. You know, people always tell me I don't have time to work out. You know, um, I, I don't have, you know, an hour in my day to work out. And so my challenge for a lot of people in the very beginning is to do 10 minutes per day. Okay. And that is why I have highlighted this here is that if you don't, you know, choose another habit, my first goal for you is to work out 10 minutes a day. Okay, so we're, we do boot camp with a longer workout three to five days per week, and I'd like you to come to all of those workouts, but even if you don't have time, I'm going to give you something that you can do every day. Okay, and when we talk about the habit, getting in the habit of being healthier, that's one of the great benefits of just doing exercise. It's not necessarily even burning a bunch of calories. It's just do, showing up and doing something. So that's my challenge for you is to do something every day. Okay, I want that to be whether it be walking or the circuit I provide for you. I want you to do something. Okay, and if you already are, that's fantastic. Uh, what you'll find is that this list actually goes in order of the 11 habits that comprise successful long-term weight loss. All right? this, this list has taken me over 10 years to assemble based upon working with thousands of clients. And so if you're new to this, start with habit one. But you know, if, you're, if you're already doing that, you're pretty active, you know, then move to habit two or pick one that works for you. But along with this process, I want you to be thinking, you know, what can I do on a daily basis to be consistent, to help myself, and to keep things as simple as possible. The key with whatever habit that you choose is that it doesn't overwhelm your, your daily life. So make it as simple as possible. And an example of that is, you know, if you're drinking 10 Cokes a day and you know Cokes are bad for you, maybe drink nine Cokes a day as opposed to 10. You know, it's very simple. It's not gonna upset the apple cart as far as your life goes. And that's gonna be something that, you know, just either highlight or circle on our pro on, on this sheet. You know, write, feel free to write in your own habit. That's perfectly fine. But hopefully this gives you an overview of uh, how we fill out our goal setting form. We'll talk about it um, during our orientation, but I look forward to meeting with you and have a great day.